Hello, I'm Lady Aska and today we want to talk about eyes. This time it's about eye tracking in VC Face and how to switch out your eye textures since people ask about that one a lot. Credit goes again to Zero Chronicles, who experimented with me over the last weeks to get it to work. If you didn't know that VC Face even offered eye tracking, then this makes already two. I thought for the longest time that VC Face wasn't capable of eye tracking through webcam. But the truth is that eye tracking actually works pretty well if the right sliders are activated. Plus, we had recently the problem that Vroid Studio's update messed with the eye movement. So I thought that's a good moment to talk about it in general, since not many people seem to know about it. Here's a little showcase of the effects we want to achieve today. First, we export our avatar and actually don't have to worry about export options if we aren't going to use HANA tool. If you use HANA tool with this avatar, remember to uncheck the delete transparent meshes at least. Also something important to note. If you're going to use HANA tool, you should do that now, before following this tutorial, and export this new .vrm that you get so it can be used for this technique. Applying HANA tool after won't work. I will put a link to the HANA tool tutorial up here in the top if you need it, and then you can just come back here after. Now we import our avatar into Unity by opening up a new project and importing the newest, yes you heard me right, newest VRM plugin. As last time, for this technique we can, and should, actually use the newest version instead of juggling with older ones. We create a new folder and put our .vrm file into this new folder, into the bottom assets, after the plugin import is complete. Now, before we start with creating the actual eye switching, let's talk about eye movement for a bit. I mentioned in the beginning that VC Face has eye movement tracking that you may or may not know about. For my videos, I'm using the webcam motion capture solution, but VC Face has that and even more. So here's how you set it up and how to fix your eyes in case they're stuck for whatever reason. We switch quickly over to VC Face and you can see here that the eyes of my model wiggle around because I worked with these gay sliders in VC Face, which you can find under the general settings. The most important one here is the gay sensitivity. If you move the slider down, your gaze will actually stuck in its current form, so moving it upwards will basically free your eyeballs and let them hop around in your head. Or in other words, you unlocked eye tracking. Now, I don't have a model that was exported before Vroid Studios fix, so just imagine you put these sliders up and nothing happens to your eyes. Then it would be time to fix this in Unity. So we switch back here and move our model into the hierarchy to the left. We select the model, switch over to the right in the inspector, and scroll all the way down to a script that is called VM. Look at the bone applier. And I want to be clear here, this is just some additional information in case your eyes are stuck and you still want to activate eye tracking. You will find the eye lines if you activate the drawn gizmo option here. While this is just a visual aid, the more important part is further down under the degree mapping. If you open these options up, and for some reason one of these is set to zero, then you know that your eyes have a problem and you should set these to a value between 10 and 16 for the curve Y degree and to 90 for the curve X degree. The only exception is the horizontal inner Y degree. This should be between three and five. And this is how you can fix your eyes. Now on to changing your eye material. First, you got to have an eye texture ready already. So you either export one from Vroid Studio with another color, created one yourself or got it from places like Booth. We enter edit mode and focus on the face at the top. Now we create a copy of that face and your copy will pop up at the bottom if you paste it in again. Name it eye switch or something else convenient and if you watched my texture swaps tutorial, you will find most of this here familiar. Something to note again is that if you decide to move this new face upwards, you need to have the original face always at the top of the list. Otherwise your face will freeze on export. Time to prepare our materials. We switch to materials and create two new ones. One that we name transparent and one that we name I2, for example. Both need the shader set to Mtune shader. Just type it in the search bar here and you will find it. 
The rendering mode on both has to be transparent as well. We also import our eye texture under Textures, set alpha is transparent and confirm with apply. After that we can fill out the eye tool material with this texture. Remember to set the neutral state by lowering the transparency to zero so they won't stay in this color from the get-go. Now it's time to get that material onto our copied face. If you watched any of the other texture swap tutorials that I released in the last weeks, then you know the drill already. We fill out all the elements with the transparent material besides the one for the iris and maybe keep the eye highlights intact if you're using them. We could now create a blend shape that triggers the eye color switch. But let me show you something. Looks great on the surface, right? The new eyes move around just like the old ones. But look what happens if I trigger the shocked expression. As you see, the iris should actually get small now, but our new texture doesn't have this effect. If you are happy with this already or just want to tie it to one expression that isn't altering the iris size, then you can keep your avatar with this eye change already. But if you aren't, then it's time to step it up a notch. Back into Unity, we are now ready for this last step. I also want to warn everyone that this step now will render your model useless in any other tracking software so far besides VC Face. So keep that in mind. First, we create a separate folder under Assets at the bottom and name it something like Mesh Int. It's just important that you know that this folder will contain something different. We switch back into the folder that we created for our model and now select a Mesh Integration Wizard from the VRM0 menu. Very important now is that you drag your avatar from the bottom into the root field, where it expects the game object. The option Separate by Blend Shape has to be active as well. Hit Integrate and close window to start the process. Now, when the window pops up, you select the new folder that you created and which will show up here to save your new avatar into. After a little while, the process will be complete and you will have a new avatar in your new folder that has now an integrated mesh, which is the face mesh we copied before. Since this merges the face with our new face but doesn't get rid of its initial properties, we can now create the effect we want. For that, we just select now the blend shapes within your new folder and create the new eye switch clip. You may also notice that one of your blend shapes disappeared or is now empty. You can just type in here the name of the blend shape again and that should fix it. The negative part here is though that if this is a HANA tool model, then you have to copy paste the names from HANA tool in there as well, as the mesh integration process is getting rid of their names and doesn't migrate them over, and HANA tool won't work with mesh integrated models, but after that it should work as intended. I just leave it up to you if you want to go through all of that. For our new eye material, we go now into the material list and select first our old iris material which is usually called n 0 underscore 0 i iris or something like that. And then over underscore color, make them invisible by turning the transparency down to zero. We add then a second material in, that of our new eyes, and set the transparency here to 255, as well as the general color to white, so your original color comes through. We export this new model now by using the VRM0 menu and again, drag the avatar from the new folder directly into the export route. Under export settings, we check the pose freeze and then the make t-pose button to align everything before we are hitting the export button. And if you load this avatar into VC face now, you will have a cool eye change effect that is able to even copy the iris mesh transformations. As always, there are a bunch of different ways to use this. So be creative and push VC face and unity to its limits. And remember, this mesh integrated avatar is only usable in VC Face. A big thank you again to Zero Chronicles for testing it with me for so long so we could create this tutorial. See you guys next time. I hope you have a wonderful day.